here's a furnace and we're using an American standard and uh, this is a t standard upflow furnace here's our return and right here is our filter rack um, actually that's our return plenum this is actually our return duct and it gets vented in PVC pipe and this is the exhaust this is the fresh air intake um, it it uses it utilizes most of the heat and absorbs it into the system that it creates so it, it does not have to be have a metal flue because of that it's 92 percent efficient and here's a transition duct going into a flexible duct and then we ran that into an existing plenum this job was uh, really tight um, so we, we just uh, left the old plenum and uh, went with that. Here's our gas piping as our inspection from our local inspector. Um, on, a, on a gas, when you run a new gas line, you have to put an air test on it. And this is just a test tee for our gauge. It makes it easier for the gas inspector when he comes here. And our piping just runs across. It, this is only an 80,000 BTU unit, so we were able to use three quarter inch. This is our intake and exhaust for um, the flue in the intake. And there's our gas pipe, and here's our meter connection. And um, here's another valve, so that way when we run the when we run the uh, gas test, we have to isolate it from the rest of the gas system. And to do that, we shut it off because we don't want to overpressurize the gas system. And in Massachusetts, we, uh, for a gas test, for a new gas work, you have to run run a three-pound test on it. So we've done that. We're all inspected. And this is a condensing furnace, so the products of combustion make a lot of moisture. The moisture drips into this condensate pump, and then it gets pumped out this vinyl hose in, into a laundry connection. And... Uh, in Massachusetts, whenever you have a direct vent gas appliance, you also need a hardwired CO detector with battery backup, and that's ours right there. And um, on these, on the vents and intakes, you should always use long pattern, long sweep 90s, never short radius 90s, and keep the fittings to a minimum. And that the length that the units can actually of the piping that can be run is all in the manufacturer's manual. Every furnace is a little different. So, and that's pretty much it. Thank you.